Good evening, everyone. I'm back with another kiln opening. It has been roughly 24 hours since the last one, so this kiln is getting a lot of use right now. Uh, there's not much in here because it's some big stuff, uh, but I propped the lid open just to help it cool down a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> but it is good to go now. So I'm gonna dig in. Oops. Okay, so on my half shelf, got one little plate, and oh my gosh, this kiln wash, I'm going to have to redo it after my bisque fire. <laughs> okay, so this is um, Amico Snapdragon Celadon. It looks pretty. I don't, I did not put black underglaze and wipe it back on this one. So it is just a Snapdragon. And it looks good. I think I got it a little bit too thick here in the center because it kind of, well, that's probably just because when I press the mold in, it flattens the texture a little bit. I bet that's more what it is. But like on the edges, it looks really nice. I have to get <laughs> some of that kiln wash off of there. <clears throat> that's cute and it's very flat. Yay. a true cone six firing on the top shelf and again I don't think I got the cones in there at the right angle so it's it looks like a true cone six to me <clears throat> which I am fine with five and a half or six it's good with me good for the glazes I use the clay. okay um so here is another cookie plate I made um I did black underglaze, wiped it back, and then put Mako Cinnabar on there, three coats. It looks really pretty. I like that a lot. So here's the difference between the Snapdragon and the Cinnabar. Snapdragon almost has more of like a pink hue to it. And this is more of like a brownish red almost. This one's more they're both Christmassy, but there's the difference. Okay, and then uh, one of my sweater mugs. Um, so I <clears throat> braved it out and I did another test with my Mako white gloss, which if you've watched my videos, you've known that I've had a lot of trouble with that in the past, getting the right consistency and all that. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, it's it's good on the inside where it's all solid and stuff, but on the texture, it's like it didn't want to like soak in very well. Like the, it just looks like there's some bare spots. I don't know. The part that holds water is fine. <laughs> Um, but it just looks rustic, so there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I feel like I can't get it right. I'm just probably going to quit using it for functional pieces. I'll save it for like things that, I don't know, ornaments or random things. I don't know, but like stuff that holds liquid, I'm probably not going to use it anymore. Although this one did okay on the inside. I don't like risking that, so. And this is leather, Mako's leather on the buttons. And then just the white on the bottom. And then I had to put it on a stilt because I glazed the bottom, so that's what those little marks are. I'll see if I can get any of that all off, but it's a cute mug. You can see all the texture, which is great. But I will use my Cottontail Stroke and Coat from now on. Uh, my daughter did this, so I threw the cup and then she slip, tra slip trailed some moons on here. You can't really see that one very well. And then she's going to go back and put gold over those. 
but this is um, Mako eggplant. She got it a little bit uneven around the edge here, which it's still okay. Just not as saturated in color, but yeah. I'm excited to see how that turns out. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna pull this stuff out. My gloves kind of get in the way of pulling shelves out. <clears throat> All right, I have a ton of little things in the bottom. Um, little things for magnets that the girls have made. Uh, so this is um, the same plate as the other one, uh, same design, but it's got the black underglaze and Snapdragon. So just to compare, this is Snapdragon with black underglaze wiped back, and this is just Snapdragon. I think it got, did it get hotter? Oh, I didn't put a comb back on the bottom. So the color is a little bit different, even on the back where it's just solid color. The bottom shelf got it a little bit darker. Not too much, but anyway, look cute. and a butter dish. I have one that I couldn't fit in the last load. And then this one I did um, Mako Black Walnut, but I only did two coats, which looks a lot better on texture. You can see all of the texture. Looks good. I wanna keep it. Very pretty. I'm not gonna show you all the magnet stuff, but I'll show you. Um, my daughter made this. I think she said it's gonna be a ring holder, but it's like a little kitchen in there. It's got a frog, table, spoon, milk, uh, eggs in the back here, and then a bowl of dough. <laughs> That's so cute. And I had a spoon rest in there. That was the last one, I think. The last of my spoon rests that I had made. Um, and then Carly made a dragon <laughs> again. Um. One of the girls made this flower a while back and it's just been sitting there. So I made her glaze it and she did it in pinks and the stroke and coat pinks um, fade out at cone six. So can't really see all the color on there, but. Um, all right, that's about it. This is like, it's gonna be an ornament. Um, I think she just did brown stroke and coat on that, but it's cute and then just little things in there, little bees and stuff for magnets, but I gotta empty this out and then we have a ton of bisque or greenware to put into bisque. So uh, probably in a two or three days, I'll have another kiln opening. So getting stuff made and uh, the festival's on the 19th and 20th. So not much time left, but um, should be able to get a little bit more done before then. Until next time, thanks.